On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install our new pulley set on your Ender 6 3D printer. Installing the pulley set on the Ender 6 is pretty simple. The core concept is to take the old pulleys off and put the new ones in their place. Now on the screws that hold the pulleys, you will have spacers. So when you're taking the spacers off, make sure you remember what position they go in and taking pictures can be sometimes helpful. I'm going to remove the top X gantry to make access to the screws easier in the video here. And that can be done by removing the top four screws and then the side screws on the left and right of the actual X gantry. After that, we're gonna go ahead and take the nuts off the bottom of the screws that hold the stock pulleys, take those out, put our new pulleys in, and then tighten them back down. When you tighten the screws back down, make sure that you don't over tighten the bolts and crush the pulley. After you put the bolts through the new pulleys and tighten them down, make sure that you can actually spin the pulley freely by just taking your finger and moving it. If it doesn't spin freely, go ahead and loosen the bolt up just a little bit and keep doing that until the pulley spins freely. There should be little to no resistance once you get the tension set correctly. In this video, I went ahead and detached the belts from the right hand side of the carriage. And at this point, if your belts are needing replacement, this would be a great time to do it. If you guys are looking for 10 millimeter width belts, we do carry lengths of belts in our shop. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and take the old pulleys off and put the new ones on. Since I am running input shaping on this printer, I am going to rerun my input shaping test as changing the belt tension and changing the pulleys will result in a different value. To take the tension off the belt, you're going to undo the tension screw on the top of each motor mount and then loosen up each of the bolts securing the motor mount to the printer frame. After those are loosened up, you can go ahead and slip the belt over the top of the pulley. Do this for both sides. Now we're going to undo the top four screws and the two side screws to move the X gantry out of the way. You can probably do this without doing the gantry removal, but it does make it a heck of a lot easier. The easiest way to remove the stock pulleys is to hold the nut that's on the bottom of the screw and then unscrew the screw from each nut. Make sure to grab any spacers that fall off once you remove the bolt. You're going to repeat this process six times, one on each side of the gantry brackets and then two up front of the printer. Now with all the old pulleys removed, we're going to reinstall the new ones in the same way we took the old ones off, except we're going to put the new pulleys in place of the old ones. Do this for the left and right side of the gantry brackets and for the two pulleys up front. Make sure you are putting the smooth pulleys and the tooth pulleys in the correct positions. Put the gantry back onto the brackets and make sure to reinstall all four screws on the top and the ones on each side. With the gantry mounted again, we're gonna go ahead and route the belt back through the belt path. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the tension on the motors. After that, the installation is done.
If you guys want to pick up a set of these pulleys and the 10 millimeter belts, you can go ahead and click the links in the video description and purchase them directly from us. As I'm making this video, we're the only people that actually carry these specific pulleys for the under six. And because of the specifications that Creality use, we actually can't find these anywhere as it's a non-standard size pulley. So if you guys are wondering why the cost on them was quite high, it's because they actually cost a lot to make because they are a customized pulley set. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy our pulley set. And as always, happy printing. I'll see you guys on the next one.